Hi, it's Craig back with you in the old sports cabin. I was a political science major in college, but I don't think there's much science left in politics anymore. I watched the returns from New Hampshire and realized the guy who finished second among the Republicans was far more excited than the guy who won. Donald Trump had more than twice the votes of the second place guy from Ohio, but somehow they were just beating the drums, couldn't have been happier. Again, he got slaughtered, but second was cool. I don't think the Panthers uh, are thinking that way at all. As for the Democrats, that was a runaway, too. Bernie Sanders, no relation to the Colonel or Dion, was an easy winner. And I got to think that the lady who finished second in that one wasn't celebrating. Started to watch the Rockets and the Warriors, the late start, and then I thought, nah, I don't need that. I really don't need that. And I didn't watch the Broncos parade either. And I also didn't call any experts to see why Johnny Football is now Johnny Knucklehead. I think we all need to quit worrying about what team he's going to end up with, you Cowboy fans especially, and just worry about whether he's going to be a normal, healthy human being from here on out. We all know people who could have had the world if they hadn't screwed up just about every day. I drove by Minute Maid Park. The roof was open. I couldn't help but notice the big posters on the side of the stadium, pictures of the Rookie of the Year and the Cy Young winner. Man, how things have changed, huh? In two years, just two years ago, those pictures were a hot dog and a beer. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's really fun when you have really good players because it's a really long season. Well, I got to see if the pine tar is still cooking. Mmm, man, that smells awful. This is Craig Roberts on Click 2 Houston. I got to go.